tastes so good. I've been working with people suffering from kidney disease for more than 10 years now. Imagine that you are one of the millions of people who suffer from kidney disease. Imagine that you have been told that your kidneys are failing and that you will need dialysis in the future. You feel hopeless and scared. But what if I told you that there is a way to improve your kidney function naturally? What if I told you that you can reverse the damage caused by toxins and restore your kidney function? I'm telling you this because I've seen it happen in person. I've seen patients doing exactly what I'm going to show you today. And once they were able to get rid of uremic toxins, uric acid and creatinine naturally, their kidneys seemed to spring back to life. They were able to increase their GFR and avoid dialysis. How can you do that? The key is to reduce the amount of toxins that your kidneys have to deal with every day. Yeah, this may seem too little, but it's not. Now the problem. Toxins are everywhere. In the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, the medications we take. They accumulate in our bodies and cause inflammation, oxidative stress and damage to our organs, especially our kidneys. Because you know, the kidneys are the first line defense of the body against all the toxins and scores we come in contact with. Heavy metals, drugs, pollution, bad eating habits, everything damages the whole body, but the kidneys first. But there is hope. You can help your kidneys by removing the sources of toxins from your diet and lifestyle. This is why today I'm going to share with you 5 tips that will help you detoxify your kidneys naturally and improve your kidney health. These tips are based on scientific research and proven results. Are you ready to learn how to save your kidneys? Let's get started! This is a 5 days detox, so each day we will take care of one specific issue. The very first toxin we are going to take care of is creatinine. And we'll do it with a detoxing smoothie. Each one of these ingredients has diuretic and cleansing properties to help your kidneys get rid of extra toxins and creatinine. Let's start our smoothie with what I consider the most powerful creatinine lowering food in the world. A recent study found out that this superfood can effectively lower blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. In just 12 weeks, their fasting blood sugar went down on average by 19.41 mg per dl. Researchers believe that this food also acts as a natural calcium channel blocker and natural ACE inhibitor. And guys, these are incredible results, especially because this is just a food. Have you guessed what food can do all this? If you did, write it down in comment section before I show it to you. In the very first entry is ginger. Yes, ginger is incredible and I've kept the best benefit for last. This is a very powerful anti-inflammatory. It's so powerful at fighting inflammation in the kidneys that it was even tested to see if it can lower creatinine levels and it worked. And while this is just a study on animals, it's incredible what this food can do! And in this tasty smoothie, I've also added some other ingredients that will help you. This is a Red Williams Pear, which is not just a great detoxifier, it is also an incredibly underrated superfood. Red Williams are even richer in antioxidants than regular pears and they are lower on the GI scale than apples. This pear also packs more than two times the fiber you get from a cup of kale. And guys, notice that I'm not peeling this pear, I'm just coring it and put it in the blender. This is because most of the nutrients of this incredible fruit are in or just below its peel. 
Our next entry is a source of healthy fats, which is crucial to make our smoothie creamy. And just like ginger, this small seed is one of the few foods in the world that can actually lower your creatinine levels. This is flaxseed. I've been studying everything that works to improve the most important markers for kidney health and there are few foods that are way more powerful than anything else you can find. One of them is flaxseed. There are studies showing that flaxseed can improve kidney function in people with inflammatory nephritis thanks to its impressive anti-inflammatory properties. So you may see that I'm not exaggerating when I say that this smoothie can help you. Also thanks to our next ingredient, one lemon. This is one of the most misunderstood fruits on earth. They are alkaline, not acidic, and good for the kidneys. Their seeds, which most people discard, are healthy and antibacterial. They can aid digestion and skin health. And the pith and peel have more fiber, antioxidants, and nutrients than the juice. Next ingredient, this nut is called Brazil nut and it's basically the only good source for a renal diet of a mineral that you really need, selenium. Having nuts in a smoothie is also a good way to make it taste better and slow down sugar absorption. Now, when I make a smoothie, I also always add a fiber supplement such as psyllium husk or acacia fiber. Acacia fiber is especially powerful when it comes to detoxing creatinine. Let's see how to put this together now. So let me know if you like this smoothie and don't forget to share this video with a friend if you think this recipe is great. It tastes so good! Now, when I recommend putting fruit in smoothies, I sometimes get concerned comments from people worried that it may spike their sugar levels. This is why during the second day, we are going to focus on a superfood that actually detoxifies sugar. But why is this important? Added sugar is not just a source of empty calories that makes you gain weight. Sugar is also a major contributor to some of the deadliest diseases in the world, diabetes and chronic kidney disease included. Now keep in mind that I'm referring to added sugar here because, you see, science is very clear on this. Consuming fruit in moderation is always healthy and it can actually improve your HbA1c levels one of the main indicators for diabetes. This is what a large randomized study found out. In fact, even people with type 2 diabetes are recommended to eat low glycemic fruits in moderation. So don't worry about fruit and veggies and make sure you are not consuming high glycemic foods if you have diabetes. And as I was saying, there is one superfood that can really help you keeping your sugar levels under control. This is raw apple cider vinegar. Now guys, I've recently made a full video about ACV because it really works. It can really help, but it must be consumed in a very specific way to get the benefits. And more about this up here and also down in description. And since we are talking about fruit and vegetables, the next toxin we want to make sure we are avoiding is pesticides. Well, this is one of the most dangerous toxins of our times actually, especially for people with kidney issues. Now sometimes, when I recommend to also eat the peel of fruits, I get concerned comments. Some people have asked me, but Catherine, isn't the peel where most of the pesticides are? Wouldn't it be better if we just remove it? Now, this is an interesting question because getting as little pesticides from foods as possible actually matters if you care about your kidneys. But I don't think getting rid of the pill is the way to go because you see, the pill is where most of the vitamins, antioxidants and fiber are in fruit and veggies. What to do then? Well, first of all, wash anything you eat 
properly. There is a technique you want to adopt in order to make sure you are getting the least amount of pesticides from produce. Second, learn about the dirty dozen. This is the list of the 12 fruits and veggies that have been found to have the highest amounts of dangerous pesticides on them. According to the EWG, a non-profit organization with the goal of exposing the health damage done by food companies, these 12 foods have too much pesticides on them and should be avoided. More about this in a moment. Before that, how can you wash your produce to make sure you are removing as much pesticides as possible? Well, you can use sodium bicarbonate. This is a scientifically proven method to get rid of pesticides. You need to prepare a water and sodium bicarbonate soda bath for your fruit and veggies. Use 14 grams of baking soda per liter of water. Soak fresh produce in this solution for 5 to 15 minutes and then rinse it off with cold water. Use plenty of water when rinsing. The friction from the running water and rubbing with your hands or a brush can help to remove residues. Then dry everything up with a clean cloth or paper towel to further remove residues. And what about the dirty dozen? This you can see here. This is the list of the 12 fruits and vegetables that are most contaminated by pesticides. These are the foods that you should buy organic because they have the highest levels of toxic chemicals on them. The Environmental Working Group, EWG, a nonprofit organization that exposes the health risks of industrial agriculture, has complied this list based on extensive testing and analysis. So be careful if you eat these foods regularly and you live in the US. Make sure that you are washing them very well and also consider buying organic. Day 4. Time now to get rid of a dangerous core. I'm talking about excess fluids. This is always one of the main focuses of any cleansing regime because it's what produces the most visible results. You see, fluid retention is a very common complication of kidney disease, but it can cause serious symptoms including swollen limbs, increased blood pressure, and more. So this is what we are going to focus on during the fourth day of our five-day kidney cleanse. So question, what are the most effective ways of taking care of water retention? naturally. First of all, always stay hydrated. Dehydration can increase your risk of water retention with consequent toxin accumulation. No detox is ever going to work if you are not hydrated and remember that your kidneys will really benefit from drinking water regularly, especially if you are suffering from diabetes. Weight loss is another not so surprising natural detoxifier. After all, about 60% of your body is water, so losing weight is one way to reduce fluid retention and to get rid of extra toxins, including sugar. And a way to catch two birds with one stone is physical activity. Regular exercise is one of the most powerful natural cleansers and it will also help you lose weight. Not to mention that it lowers blood pressure, fights diabetes and high cholesterol levels. Now guys, there are two hidden dangers in your diet that you absolutely should know about if you want to detox your kidneys. First of all, hidden salt. Everyone knows that salt causes fluid retention and damages the kidneys. But did you know that 80% of the salt people consume every day comes from packaged, processed, store-bought and restaurant foods? Yes, avoiding the salt shaker is not enough to avoid salt. Another hidden danger. Refined carbs. Refined carb sources like white bread, pasta, and crackers are typically high in carbs or added sugar and low in fiber, which may lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels. Bad for diabetes, but also for fluid retention. Reducing your intake or refined carbs acts as a powerful natural diuretic. And have you ever noticed that whenever you go on diet, you always lose a lot of weight during the first one or two days? Well, that's not fat, just water. The main reason why this happens is because you are eating a lot less carbohydrates. And this tells the body to get rid of a lot of the water that's inside the cells. So yes, cutting on refined carbs has a powerful detoxing effect. Now guys, during these four days, we took care of our whole body naturally and safely. 
This is a great way to protect our kidneys. Just one more thing to do now. We still need to make sure the most dangerous toxin of them all is under control. This is a step everyone with kidney disease needs to take in order to improve. Yes, this is one of the most effective ways of helping your kidneys. Acid in the body is something the kidneys are supposed to get rid of. When there is too much of it, the whole body is going to suffer. It can cause some of the worst symptoms of kidney disease. Now, some silver linings. When you take control of excess body acidity through the diet and supplementation, you are not just going to feel better. Your kidneys are also going to improve in some cases or at least to stop deteriorating. Yes, just by controlling body acidity with the diet and supplementation. How to do this? Watch my video up here and also down in the description for more. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.